Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison with rollers. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure that you hit that like, share, and subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. All right. Thank you so much for all the donations. I appreciate you all. That is including your time. Appreciate you so much. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> First card out, decay. Something rotten out. It's rotted. Something is rotted. Decaying. What is it? Mm, the three of swords upright. Somebody, somebody facing heart heartbreak. So some sort of relationship could have just rotted out. Um, somebody also could be dealing with the situation. I say some sort of relationship that rotted out. The two of cups came out upright. So some sort of relationship could have rotted out. Somebody who you thought was going to be a really good love for you, or they were coming in offering you a cup of love, it just did not work out. Um. Looks like it was something that had to do with money, um, stability or something. And it brought you a lot of heartache because the ten, of, the ten of Pentacles is right up under that. So it's like your money could have also been affected by this or like decaying, like rotting away, eating something, eating away um, <clears throat> at your money. This could have been a love connection where you were just giving way too much or somebody promised to take care of you and have like provide you with some sort of stable life. And that just did not happen. And it looks like you're heartbroken about it. Um, you feel like this person did not keep their, they didn't keep their word or something. This person could also have issues with like their teeth. Like decaying a lot, a lot of cavities or something. So maybe their health is not in the best place. Or you could just feel like a lot of crap come out of their mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it looks like, Pisces, somebody who offered you some sort of like cup of love or said that they wanted to be romantically linked to you, it was more of a money-based thing. Or they made some sort of promise that they would um, provide security in your life, and that didn't happen. And now you're hurt behind it. You're heartbroken behind it. Then we have the nine. We have the nine of cups. I say you're heartbroken behind it in the five of cups. But Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I get the energy that the roles have become reversed for some reason. It's like after they caused you some sort of heartbreak and you saw the relationship as rotted or this person as rotted, you could have even told them, told them this, like your soul is rotted. Like I can't even believe you did this or something. Um... It looks like now this person is crying over what they lost. It looks like that they feel like they have lost a lot with you. This person could still have, you know, blessings in their life in some way or something, but it looks like they are crying over losing you. They're crying over the relationship ending between you all. And it could be the fact that you're very successful now. You could be doing a lot better without this person after facing some sort of like heartbreak uh-huh, or hurt or betrayal that you felt. It's like you're doing a lot better now. And, and you're doing it without this person. And it's like they completely regret how they treated you. It's a lot of regret in this energy. Like they feel really sad. They wish they would have done things differently. But it's, I just get the energy. It's a little too late. Um that you're not even willing to give this person another chance to sort of right their wrongs. And then, then I, I just get the energy, Pisces. It's not like you're trying to be vindictive. It's just that you have blessings, so many blessings coming in. You're focused on you. Um, you, you, you're, you realize that they hurt you. Let me see what this card is. That fail. The King of Pentacles, right up under the Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. Woo. Pisces. I don't know who this person was. This person, this could have been a, somebody who was older than you or you're older than them. Um, could be by even almost a decade. 
it could be a decade, sort of like almost a decade age difference. But this person realized that their behavior caused a decay in the relationship. It caused you to lose love for them. Something that they did that hurt you caused you to lose love for them. And it decayed the relationship, their behavior. Um, and now they're crying over how well you're doing without them. So this person could live in your same city, town, state, or something like that. Um, and they may be witnessing you just go up the ladder, do very well, be very supportive um, of yourself now and your own dreams coming true with this nine of cups. It's like you're very supportive of your own dreams coming true and something happened in your life. It looks like, hey, let me, let me hold on. Let me, before I say what I was about to say. Mm hmm. Okay. Looks like something, what I was about to say was it looks like something has happened in your life to change things. Um, but you're being smart. Like, so <clears throat> Pisces with the, the four pinnacles came out, but it came out in reverse. So you may need to, even though you have all these blessings coming in, even though your dreams are coming true, you may need to like hold on. You may have been spending a lot lately. So you may need to hold on to your finances or get some sort of control of your finances. Um, you could have been doing therapy shopping, like just spending money randomly trying to, trying to heal from this heartache. Some sort of blessing came in. You feel like you have all of this excess money that you can just spend. It looks like you need to hold on to something because something may happen unexpectedly that where you need this, this finance, these finances or something. doesn't look like it's anything major or like really big, but it looks like you are going to need some sort of um, finances due to something coming up. It may just be like a bill is higher than what you expected or something, Um so make sure you're putting some extra, you know, some extra money aside. Now with your person who offered you this cup of love and caused the relationship to decay, and now they have the audacity to be crying. <laughs> um, It's like with the 10 of wands upright, it's like, you know, putting in all this extra work, carrying more burdens, like working really hard to get to a certain goal, not being able to quite see what's in front of you, this, that, and the other, but this is in reverse. So it looks like this person wasn't holding, I just get the energy they weren't holding. They weren't holding the relationship down or putting in the work that they needed to put in to make this relationship so it's like this person could have, so if this person was saying, you know, when, when you all got together, when you all first met and they were offering you this cup of love, they could have been saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So I can make sure my nose is itchy. So I can make sure that we have a stable life so I can provide for you and do wonderful things for you or something like that. They weren't even willing to put in the work to do this. So if this person needed to take up, um, I'm gonna just use the example, like, so maybe they have a job where they're not paid much. Right. And when you all met, it was that way and you gave them a chance anyway. And this person decided that, oh, well, Pisces gave me a chance. They accepted me for who I am. So I don't even have to keep my side of the deal. Like I don't even have to do what I said I was going to do. So instead of this person, this person could have been like, oh, I'm going to get certification so I can make more money. I'm going to get, I'm going to do this so I can make more money so I can give to you. So I, this, that, and yeah, this person just lied. And that's why I said at the, in the beginning, you could be telling this person, like everything that come out your mouth is a crock of sh like, yeah, because this person just, they rotted, you know, it's just like they're rotted on the inside. Um, this person may enjoy being spoiled opposed to spoiling others like they enjoy being catered to but their selfishness is the reason why this relationship ended the heartbreak that they caused you from not keeping their word is the reason this relationship ended there was no stability in this they didn't provide for you the way that they should have it looks like they were even taking something from you you went on and moved on after this heartbreak and wind up some sort of dream came true for you and you're doing well on your own and now this person has the audacity to be crying over what they lost with you. But it's because they weren't willing to put in the work. 
they could see somebody else could be in the picture who was also doing like doing all the things that this person said that they were going to do. Somebody else could be in the picture doing all these things. Um, but Pisces, just because things have changed in your life and you're, you, you may have more money at your fingertips now, please be smart in how you're spending it. Um, you know, be careful about going on shopping sprees where you're spending, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars, you know, things like that. Um, I just got, I, I don't get that something major is going to happen. I just get that like a bill might come in that you were not expecting and you don't want to be strapped for cash or something like that. Um, or something may come up unexpectedly, a family member may be in a bind or something like that. And you may like, like, you know, I don't mind helping this person, but I, I wish I had it. But if I wish I hadn't have spent all of this kind of money where now I can't even really help the person who I want to help or something. Um, so that's it. But it looks like the person from your past is watching you do very well for yourself and their selfishness and rotted you know, behavior and that the fact that they like to be spoiled, but they don't want to spoil you. They didn't want to spoil. They, they, they weren't willing to. So like I said, as an example, if they said, oh, I'm going to go get the certification so I can get a better job, this, that, and the other, so I can make more money, so I can take you out, so I can do nice things for you, so I can buy us a, a nice home, da, 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 da. It's like they didn't keep that, that part of the bargain. Like they didn't keep that, that their word on something. And it caused you a lot of pain. You decided to go ahead and move on from this person because you could have just gotten like really tired of, you know, damn, like this person, like you could have even been the breadwinner Pisces. You may have been the one who kept putting in that work to bring in more income, more money, bring like make, bring stability and prosperity and financial abundance into the family, like with you all. Um, and this person was comfortable sitting back, letting you do all the work and, and you spoiling them, but yet they weren't willing to spoil you in return. And it's, I just get the energy. You snatched that energy back. You said, okay, you know what? I'm holding, I'm putting in all this work in this relationship. This person know that they, they said one thing and they're doing another and they really need to step up their game and bring something to the table instead of being a, a, Instead of sitting around like a spoiled child, expecting, taking, taking, taking. Um, and it's just like they weren't even willing to put in the work for you. And they had the audacity. They wasn't willing to put in that hard work for you, Pisces. And then they had the audacity to be crying over what they lost with you. And I even get the energy. It's somebody else in the picture. It's somebody else in the picture um, <clears throat> that this person may have been distracted by it doesn't necessarily i don't necessarily see like a love offer but it's somebody else that this person was distracted by where they weren't focusing on you i don't get that they really love that other person either i just get that this person is a user like they they tell people what they want them to hear i mean what the what they think that that person want to hear they sell people dreams and then they, they do not put in the work to make that happen. Um, I just get that this person is just that type of, they're a taker. We have givers and takers in this world, Pisces. And I see that you were giving a lot and that's probably why you wind up being blessed like that. Um, because you kept giving and helping and giving and helping and, and, you know, in a marriage or a relationship, it has to be a two way street. It can't just be one person always giving because it throws the energy of the relationship off. This person isn't aware of that. They're just used to, they're rotted on the inside. They're used to taking and they wanted to be spoiled and, you know, but they weren't willing to spoil you and they weren't willing to get whatever they needed to get or put in that work to to improve their own income, their own life to provide stability and financial freedom for you all. I see that you were willing to do that and you were heartbroken by the realization that this person did not keep their word and had no intention on keeping their word. They will. It's like even if this person gets money. And they have the opportunity to do something kind for you. They still won't do it. Extremely selfish person. Extremely selfish because they're rotted on the inside. They they are decayed. 
on the inside. So doing people like this is okay to them. It's normal until people walk away from them. Then all of a sudden they're the victim in the situation. All of a sudden they have, they think they have a reason to cry. Um, this person is just, wasn't just what they're, you, they could even be seeing somebody else. You may have met somebody new who's doing everything that this person said that they were going to do. Now they're in their feel. Now your, your old person is in their feelings. Because they see you being treated the way you should have been treated anyway. So, oh well. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull one um, love card. Pull one love card, and it says. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So Pisces, like, you know, usually when I pull these cards, I go along with it. I'm sorry. Like this person could have been telling you, you weren't doing enough, criticizing you. You were being stingy because you wouldn't give to them every freaking, every freaking second of the day, month, year, whenever they ask for stuff. You were criticizing this person, telling them that they would not step up. They needed to do more. Um, I just get the energy, Pisces, when this, this car says love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Pisces, don't accept a bum. Uh-uh. No. If this person doesn't even have enough self-esteem or self-respect to improve their own situation and they want you to go along for the ride or you to take care of them like they're a baby or something uh-uh no you don't have to accept it looks like you already accepted this person for who they was in the beginning when they were talking at talk about all that they were going to do and improve their life and they didn't even keep up like they didn't even put in the word they didn't they weren't willing to because they felt like they just felt like you, it was okay that you did all of this, you know, that you put up all the work in the relationship and that you were, I don't know whether they looked at you as desperate or I don't, I might, um, mm, Pisces, I have no idea, but I don't know whether they looked at you as desperate or what, but I just get the energy that this person felt like you were going to continue to take care of them and spoil them even though it wasn't reciprocated. Like this gives me bum energy, <laughs> like straight up bum, like ill. And so, <clears throat> and really, and just all childish too, very, very not adult-like behavior and thinking that user taker type energy, um, taking from everyone always got a sob story type person. I know people like this too. Hmm. Always got a sob story for why they can't contribute. But then when you walk away, they act sad. Or they always got a sob story for why they can't, you know, give to you the way you have given to them in the past. It's always an excuse. Mm -hmm. I think we all know folks like that in our life. I think we do. I think, I think, I think we do, Pisces. We all know some folks like this. Yeah, but some sort of blessing came into you because of all that you were doing for this person. It's like the fact that you were giving so much to this person and helping them and, you know, for and, and constantly trying to be a voice of reason and provide stability um, and support for this person, it wound up bringing good karma in your life. Um, so you could have met somebody, like I said, who was doing everything for you that this person in the past said that they would do, um, or either something, some sort of dream of yours came true. And so it has awarded you, um, blessings in your life, daughter of wands. Okay. So being in that kind of energy where you're just feeling like you could be feeling very youthful and fun and magical. Um, you could feel like you're smarter. This was a learning experience for you. Um, you could be feeling very blessed right now. 
You could feel like you've grown a lot since this situation. You've learned a lot since this situation with this person. You could have learned a lot about them, alert a lot about yourself. Yeah. This is a bum Brian or a bum Benita or somebody because I'm telling you, whoever this person was is a straight up user. Like they get some sort of joy out of everybody doing for them that they don't want to do for other people or they are very selective. So you could have even seen this person doing stuff for their family that they would not do for you. Like they could have come up with an excuse. Oh, my mom needs, my dad needs, my cousin needs, my, my brother needs, my, my nephew, my niece. Everybody needs something. But when you need something, it's like a desert. All you see is tumbleweed blowing in the wind. They ain't nowhere to be found. <laughs> That's not funny. But people are trifling. <laughs> This is a real bum type person. Like they are just used to being spoiled. They want to be spoiled like they're a child or something. Very childish energy, I get. Very childish energy. Go ahead and take these. I know it's itching like crazy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then we have the son of cups. I just say that this person probably is telling like, I got to do this for my mom. I got to do that for my mom. I got to do this, you know. And this that, and the other to the point where they're, it's if they can never do anything for you, but they got to do everything else for their mom. That's the excuse that they use. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, Pisces. I'm telling you, some bullseye. You didn't hit the some, some blessings that came in that that's provided stability, um, financial abundance. It's like you're feeling more headstrong, magical, and blessed in your life after facing this heartache. It, it, you also feel like you learned a lot about yourself and this person. Had that this person loved to be spoiled, but they don't like to spoil anyone else. Um, and they love to, and they'll make excuses why they can give to others, but cannot give to you. Okay. And then we have, what is this? This is the six of um, uh, wands, but it's in reverse of victory. I told you this person is suffering right now, Pisces. They could be going through financial issues, family issues, whatever. It's like all of these people who they put before you or were willing to do all this stuff for, knowing that they should have been contributing to the connection between you all, is not even able to help them the right the way that they want to be helped. So now they're crying over the fact that you're out the picture. That you're out the picture and that you've decided to move on. Another thing that with this decay card, this could be with a Scorpio. Um, like something decaying, something dying out. You know, Scorpio cards represent death. And so it could just be the energy Pisces that you're just like, it's like this person is seeing you be blessed. Seeing you get constant blessings in or seeing you be loved. You're being loved the right way. They see your dreams coming true and they're feeling sad because victories aren't happening in their life. But it's because they're selfish as heck. They are beyond selfish Pisces. That's why they're going through what they're going through. The last card that came out was the two of wands. So it's like the crossroad in this situation um, a decision was made in this situation and if this person may even be asking you to come back now, oh my goodness, I, mm, okay, this person may be even asking you to come back and to let this, if you met a new person who's doing everything that this old person was not doing, they may be asking you to let that person go and to give them another chance to prove um, that they're, they can they can sort of provide stability or you know they're willing to put in the hard work now and you know how i feel the smallest violin is playing child please ain't gonna happen buddy <laughs> not in this decade all right that's the end of the reading, Pisces. I love you guys. Sending you nothing but positive energy. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button um, and show me some love. I appreciate you. Um, thank you for all the donations. If you want to know how to donate, it's in the description box. Um, sending you nothing but positive energy. I love you. Talk to you soon.